Hi there, and welcome to the latest episode of Chip Shop Chat, where Stephen, I'm Stephen Left, I editor of The Drum, and I talk to entrants into this year's Chip Shop Awards, which are the creative awards with no boundaries and no rules, about what work they've put into the awards and the ideas behind it and what generated those. Can I ask my guest to introduce herself first of all? Hi, I'm Bee Palmkey and I am the head of voice at Dragon Rouge London. Thanks Bee. What, what is the work then? Could you just tell our audience a bit about what you have entered into the Chip Shop Awards? So the piece that we're going to talk about today is an Oscars award poster for uh, Academy Award for Best Actor, which we have awarded to Harvey Weinstein for his performance at his trial recently. And that's when he came into the trial room looking frail on a Zimmer frame, is that correct? Yeah, frail, vulnerable old man that couldn't possibly be a predator. Mm. Um, so what category have you entered them into and can you tell us a bit about why? Why choose this? So we've entered this, um, this piece of work into Best Use of Celebrity um, and we, you know, the pursuit of, of truth and honesty is something that I think we, sh we all do hold uh, close to our hearts and we, um, it's, for a long time now, Harvey Weinstein and others have pushed forward this rhetoric of discrediting victims and um, you know discounting their accounts of what has happened to them as inauthentic and as lies and and painted them out to be these people that are seeking their 15 minutes of fame or or a payout um, and really implying that you know all of these victims that come forward are lying and they're just performing and there was something so um, so disgusting and satisfying about this terrible performance Mr Weinstein put on when he went to trial uh, walking with the Zimmer frame and trying to really paint himself out to be this frail old man um, and it just felt like a real sense of irony that after spending so long trying to paint victims to be actors he was doing such a terrible job of acting himself so we wanted to shed some light on that hypocrisy um, and do it in a way that would just really uh, make people think about the conversations we have and the dialogue that we use around victims versus abusers. Hmm. It, just uh, picking up on that then, do you think advertising is a medium that can, that can really help uh, shine a light on such controversial figures? Uh, it's not something we see done an awful lot. Do you think it is something that could really get people thinking more? Yeah, I, I really think that in our industry, we have a lot of power to um, to lead conversations and to define the status quo. You know, it's through the decisions that we make in our world and not just through advertising, but even through the imagery we use in branding and packaging. Um, we, we tell the world what is normal and what is usual and what is acceptable and what is desirable and what is attractive and all of these things. And, you know, I, I think we, as, as a broad sweeping statement, I think a lot of people have lost sight of the, that power and what an influence it has. And I think that we have an opportunity to challenge ourselves within our industry, within advertising, within branding, within design, within creative, to make sure that we are being um, truthful to the world, that we're showing, you know, even beyond very serious topics like this, but making sure that we're showing diversity across um, platforms, making sure that we're really reflecting the world that we live in and that we are, we're taking our responsibility seriously and not continuing to praise bad people that do bad things and continuing to award them this, this credit where we, we strip victims of it very quickly. Uh, what other award? Uh, what other work have you entered into the Chip Shop Awards? Are there, are there are there any other pieces of work you would like to highlight? Yeah, so we've we've entered five overall. Um, so you'll you'll have to uh, you have to see if we're shortlisted to see all of them. But um, a couple of the others that we that we've put in, uh, we we created a campaign series for TFL um, about the uh, the safety implications of noise cancelling headphones. So when you're crossing the road, when you're at the edge of a platform on the tube and, <clears throat> and the ambient noise is completely shut out, then you're obviously at higher risk. So we really tapped into 
the way TfL present their current campaigns um, and brought that to life. And then another entry we put forward uh, was for Extinction Rebellion. And we, um, we showed an image of a condom with the headline, not all single use plastic is bad for the environment. Um, just highlighting that very, um, very big, but single change that people can, can make to have a lesser impact on the environment. And so, I mean, these, this is work that probably would never have seen the light of day or never been generated if it hadn't been for the Chip Shop Awards. What do you guys make of uh, the awards without any rules? How, how freeing has that been? It's really, really freeing. And at Dragon Rouge, <clears throat> we, uh, this is the second year we've entered Chip Shop. In both years, we've come together as the whole agency to generate ideas. Um, and having that complete creative freedom um, is so inspiring. And being able to work across every department within the agency, you know, having account managers, front of house team, you know, accounts, everyone coming together to create these ideas, not just the realm of, you know, the studio, um, is really inspiring. And I think we're, we're so good at, having our clients voices in our heads and going you know oh well we could come up with that but it's never going to get through legal or mm, we're not going to have the budget for that or we don't have the scope for that or the client isn't going to go for it we're so good at stopping creativity before it starts because we know our clients so well it's really liberating to just be able to go there are no clients we are the clients just be as creative as you want and do the campaign that you really want to see happen mm -hmm. well I hope you and the agency uh, are highly successful at this year's chips and uh, we'll see some of this work with, uh, nominated when we announce uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, good luck there in lockdown. Uh, we are both in the middle of this pandemic as we speak. Uh, so stay safe and thank you for joining me. And thank you to our audience as always for joining us too. More chip shop chat to come in the coming weeks. <laughs>